up morning y'all what up gang got a little man in the background say what's up coma what's up all right so today we're about to take the frame load it up onto the uh trailer and head out to the body shop man you guys can see the national i haven't even seen it i just seen pictures and yo it looks beautiful y'all last night we got the frame wrapped up so we don't get any impurities in, in the injectors and stuff that's open. So we got everything out the way. All our stuff that we're bringing with us to the body shop, torque wrenches, body bushings. So we're about to get this. All right, the frame is on the trailer, strapped down. We're ready to roll. This thing's so beastly looking, y'all. Got the monster truck pulling it. Got the T out front. She need a car wash, but she's still sexy. Let's get it. Sir, we had a snack break. Back on the road. All right, y'all. Gang, gang. We here at the body shop. Just waiting for the man to come. Looks like everything stayed down. Nothing came loose. He was worried about some shit just flopping off. But uh, it looks good. We gotta get this thing out the way real quick. I'll put it over here. To get that on it. Finishing up, got it all moved out the way so we can get the body on. Let's go check it out. Camaro sitting over here, look at this thing. And follow me over here. Daddy's Grand National Body hangs up. And we're about to get this underneath there. We're gonna get this frame roller that he built unbolted and out the way and slide the body. Slide the frame right underneath there. Let's get it. Right here. 
Slowly bring it down. Uh, did you bring those the sticks? So you guys know this is my first time ever doing something like this. I took the body off the frame on mine, which was very, very, very scary. Um, Danny did his also, uh, but this is our first time putting one back on. So we know that we have to a three eighths hole right here to line the body up with another hole up here. Uh, on one on, one on the back, one on the front. So we're gonna try to go with that right now. So we're putting this underneath the tire so we can be able to move it, swivel it around everything. It's got a way for that to be protected. How's it looking with the uh, supports? Huh? No, it's, it's looking good. I'm only concerned it's right here, you know? Yeah, that's what I was on both sides. Is it close? Yeah. I mean, this side's close to this side. Oh, how we're looking up the front. Pick up the side. No, we got, I, I've got a. Alright, keep going. I've got plenty of room, dude, on the front. Alright, keep going. Before it even goes, it even touches the frame. Go for it. Hey, what was that? That was the, uh, the, the, uh, the wire. Transmission line. Okay. Ready? Yep. So far, I'm up in front. It looks good, dude. I mean, I, I, I've got like half a foot before it even so I can. You ready? Yep. Yeah. starting to go on. It's going to hit uh, the front side right here. Because right. this still has to go. This, a, this has to go. Uh, yeah, this whole thing needs to go this way. No, this way. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. look, the hole the hole's right here. I'm not straight with the hole. Yeah, so the body's got to go this way. No, this way. The here, the the frame. Way. The frame needs to go this way. This way. Look at Over here, bro. Look at come up here. Look at how's that? The hole's over here. Yeah. Wait for this tire to go up a little bit. Frame's lifting up, so make sure it's not gonna hit the what? The what? body. The body. Uh, what? Thing that's holding the body up front. Is it clearing it? No, it's clearing it. Okay, good. About that being lined up till it gets closer to the, right, to, to the front end, gets closer to the okay, go for it, gets further down, yeah. you know. Okay, I'm clear. Are you clear on that side? I got like an inch, but it's gonna clear perfectly. Okay, go for it. Be 
enough, right? No, it's good. <laughs> Y'all can go under there, I'm not going under there. took us four and a half, five hours. Um, whoever told you that doing this was easy, you're full of they're, they're lying. It's not, it's not that easy to get this lined up. Uh, even with a lift, it wasn't that easy. Um, so right now we've got the front lined up perfectly, but unfortunately the back is just off a little bit, off to the side, maybe half, quarter inch in between. So now we're gonna drop it back down. Well, first we're gonna put the bolts in the front. The second ones, we're gonna drop it back down, lift the body up just a little bit from the frame, put these little dollies on the back and slide it over just so we can line it back up and then drop it back down and then we should be done. So come on in, take a look. Like I said, it is not easy at all, even with a lift. I'm gonna go around. I don't like being underneath the lift. It just scares me. said we're just off quarter inch maybe half so we're gonna need to adjust it get it lined up a little bit but you know I've always seen videos of everybody doing their frames and people asking hey does, does it fit does it fit when you when you box them in you know it's very very close let's see I can get you in there It's super close. Like this is right here is where we boxed it in. As you can see, I get it. It's it's super close, but it but it works all the way through. Looks good. I'm happy with it. Look at that, look at that glass. And that's, it's sitting right here against the wall, collecting dust. Those are his doors and his trunk. He ready. I'm off the ground, you only have to go a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm off the ground. So which way? Uh, okay, so that's that. Let's see if I can... 
Now the bushing. Eh. Needs to go. Yeah. I'm gonna feed some babies here. Well, we don't need to put this one in now. That's it. All done. That was the last bolt right there. Like I said before, we had to kind of kick the frame back just a little bit, a uh, quarter inch, um, and we did it. Got it all perfect. Everything's jammed hand tight. Well, a little bit more than ham tight. We're gonna bring it back down because he's still got more work to do on the bo uh, the body. It has to be sanded and they have to do a bunch of other stuff. So my job is done. Check it out though, y'all. That's all done. All the bushings. Look at that. Diff cover. Everything's set in place. It's good to go. Danny helped. Son Coma. We out here. It's done, y'all. He's just tightening some stuff that he's not supposed to be tightening until the body gets down completely on, on the ground. But it's done. We did that. It's my first time. Just checking in the positioning of the GNX bushings. Make sure they're all good. Push it back so I can get the moon to stop. Go ahead, go ahead. That's good. That's perfect. It's sticking out because the feet hang out too far. It looks real. You dead? Still needs to be wiped down. You don't want to touch it right now. You don't want to do nothing. The compressor's not on, so we can't blow it. But it looks, it's coming along. She's sitting right. It's a good little lineup right here. We both know who's gonna win. Still dirty. Oh, she clean. Woo! Just put the bumper reinforcement on. I'd like to give a big shout out to Pete. Appreciate it, man. He let us come out here, use his forklift, uh, use the, not the forklift, the, uh, body the body lift. Big shout out to Pete for letting me use the body lift um, and Danny for Danny's car. Come on, check it out, OC Body Techs. If you guys are down in Orange County, I'm check them out. The paint job on the Grand National is phenomenal, y'all. I mean, it's it's nice. So come check them out.
Gang, gang, what's up, man? We finished. It was a long day, but we finished it, man. We got it done. You know, that's what we do, though. Grand National Life. About to head back to the hotel, clean up, get some food, and relax now. Now it's time to drink. Is that right, Danny? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's time to drink and relax. Let's do it. <laughs> 